He missed his train. Let him miss it. He can catch the next one. What happened? Mary thought Edith had told him about Marigold. How did Mary find out? Mary is not stupid. No. And she's not always kind, either. Was it really a mistake? What difference does it make? I'm not shocked, exactly. It isn't that, I promise you. You have to protect the honour of your family. Of course you do. It isn't even that. You should have told me the whole story from the beginning. You haven't been fair to me. No, I don't believe I have. Oh, then why didn't you? I suppose I thought it might ruin everything. You mean you didn't trust me? I can't have, can I? Would you have married me in a lie? I don't think so. But we'll never know now. No. You see, I don't feel I could spend my life with someone I don't trust. Who didn't trust me. Do you understand? Yes. I'm terribly sorry, of course. But that doesn't mean much, does it? The truth is, my life was about to be perfectly wonderful, and now I've thrown it all away. I'd better go if I'm to catch my train. Yes, hurry. I doubt we'll meet again, so I want to say good luck. And everything else that goes with it. Good luck to you, too. I mean that. Well, you got what you wanted. Bertie's left for the train, and now Edith won't be the next Marchioness of Hexham. Well, that's not what I wanted. Isn't it? I still can't believe she'd never told him. How was I to know that? Don't play the innocent with me. I didn't mean... Don't lie! Not to me! You can't stop ruining things. For Edith, for yourself. You'd pull in the sky if you could. Anything to make you feel less frightened and alone. You saw Henry when he was here. High-handed and bullying and unapologetic. Am I expected to lower myself to his level and be grateful I'm allowed to do so? Listen to yourself. Lower yourself to his level. You're not a princess in the prison of Zenda. You don't want to understand me. You ruined Edith's life today. How many lives are you going to wreck just to smother your own misery? I refuse to listen. You're a coward, Mary. Like all bullies, you're a coward. Here. Looking for you to borrow some scissors, but you're going out. I've left my workbooks downstairs, but you're welcome to take them. Where are you up to? I said I'd work with Mr. Molesley to the schoolhouse for moral support. Mm. Are you all right, Mr. Barrow? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Going away? Do you care? Look, I wasn't to know you hadn't told him. It never occurred to Just me... Just shut up! I don't know what's happened. Tom's made you feel bad. Or Papa. Or maybe it's just the same old Mary. He wants her cake and hate me too. I never meant to... Yes, you did! Who do you think you're talking to? Mama? Your maid? I know you. I know you to be a nasty, jealous, scheming bitch. Now listen, you pathetic... You're a bitch! 
And not content with ruining your own life, you're determined to ruin mine. I have not ruined my life. And if Bertie's put off by that, then... Don't demean yourself by trying to justify your venom. Just go. <sighs> and you're wrong, you know, as you so often are. Henry's perfect for you. You're just too stupid and stuck up to see it. Still, at least he's got away from you, which is something to give thanks for, I suppose. I beg your pardon, my lord, but Mrs. Patmore has something to say. I wonder if now would be convenient. Of course, bring her in. How can we help Mrs. Patmore? Well, that, that's just it, my lord. I know you're planning to help by coming over to the cottage for some tea, but should you be mixed up in it? It's my mess. Why should you pay for it? Indeed. Carson. Is this what you believe? It is, Your Ladyship. I wouldn't like to see this family dragged into a tawdry local brouhaha. It means me. Oh, I think we have to show a little more backbone than that. My lord? Mrs Patmore has been loyal to this house, and now this house must be loyal to her. She had made a large investment in her future. We can't let it fall away to nothing. <laughs> I'll go now, if I may. We'll see you on Friday. Are you sure, my lord? Quite sure. Thank you, Carson. You mustn't be nervous. You don't know what they're like. I felt like a fraud yesterday. And all the time, I kept wondering, what would they say if they found out that I was a servant at the big house? What would their parents say? Why not tell them? Then they won't have to find out, will they? Mr Barrow's in a funny mood. Why? He suddenly told me out of the blue how he hoped I'd make more of my life than he'd ever make of his. I should go back. Is something wrong? I hope not. <laughs> 